Hi, I'm Madhurama. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Kolkata, India. I live in the house where I was born, so I've been here my whole life. As a child, I was very shy, very emotional, and I had a really hard time connecting with people. And I'd say nothing has changed much except that I like, like myself more now. <laughs> So I was having a really hard time in my life, coping up with my studies and I'd just gone into college and it required a lot of adjustment. I was having a very hard time dealing with my emotions and so I got into substance abuse. That kind of led me to get help. I was kind of forced into it. but. It worked and when I got my diagnosis of BPD, everything kind of made sense. Usually I'm more of, you know, a suffering silence type of person. So if something is bothering me, there was a 99% chance that I would not speak up about it and I would silently blame myself. So at my worst, there was this notion in my head which led me to believe that I am toxic and unwanted and unlovable, good for nothing, worthless. It's hard to get help when you're feeling so low about yourself, you know, when you don't think you deserve help because your mind is telling you that you deserve to like, you know, suffer forever. I was at this point where I was not having food, I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't even get up to brush my teeth and that was probably the worst moment of my life when I think I would suffer and I would, you know, like, be okay with it. So, like, right now, after um, a long, long time of therapy and skills that I've practiced, I would say that I'm in a much, much better place. I mean, I trust myself more. I am better handling my emotions than when I was starting with recovery I tried to change myself I thought okay I'll get into therapy and I'll be this brand new person who has no problems and who's this shiny better version of me you know like who is happy and has no problems dealing with hardship the biggest lesson that I've learned in therapy is that it does not fix you it basically teaches you to accept yourself for who you are I used to judge myself so hard for having feelings, for having emotions, for feeling things too deeply. But like right now, right at this point, I know that feelings and emotions just make me human, right? And you can have thoughts, you can have big monumental thoughts and emotions, but you do not necessarily need to act on them. It did not happen overnight, of course, but one moment at a time, it really does get easier. I am extremely proud of accepting myself for who I am. Acceptance is the key to everything. I have accepted my flawed parts, parts of me that I thought I'd never be able to forgive. I have forgiven myself and I have accepted myself and I'm proud of myself of how far I've come. And right now I'm speaking it out loud and I'm thinking that, oh my God, it's true. I really. I'm super proud of myself and I really do think that I'm worth all of this and I love myself for it. My job is basically I'm a doctor and I absolutely love my job. I mean the work hours are insane but I've always wanted to be a doctor since I was a kid. Now I am one and I think it was 100% worth all my dreams and the hype. But apart from that, I love reading. I love reading books, especially fantasy. I love to paint. I love music. I love learning about things. I'm like thrilled by the concept of learning new things because I think this world has so much to offer and you have so much more to know. And as a human being, we can never know enough. My mind is blown right here, right now, my long-term goal, like at the end of my life, if I've known as much as I can about what I love studying, if I have a home, if I have a bed to sleep to, if I have my pet friends, and if I have the tiniest bit of love for myself which I can gather and if I remember to be kind to people, I think that's more than enough at this point. The most important thing when you're struggling with something like BPD is to 
hang on and have the patience because it is a long long journey and you have to keep remembering that we are not alone i mean i have found so many of you through the internet but when i was first diagnosed i did not even have any idea what the disorder is or what it makes of us right so you are not alone in this there are so many people and so many people have gotten better and even if it feels like it's the end of the world it's not i think accepting that you have something that is hard to deal with and then taking the small steps one step at a time is what will get us through i would say my friends and my family like i have so supportive friends they help me carry on and get through the toughest part of my life and my family has been my greatest support something that gave me the push to keep on working with myself was that the love i got from them is that okay if they love me so much then i can you know make the effort to do that for myself as well i think it's very important to know that just because I am being vulnerable with myself or if I'm being vulnerable in front of people that have not known me for long it does not mean that my emotions are out in the open to be toyed with I can be vulnerable and I can be tough at the same time it does not have to be mutually exclusive I can be emotional and I can be resilient both of these things can be true at the same time